Hello, welcome back to another video from clevermerchants.com and this one is, this tutorial is how to purchase a, dom a domain name on GoDaddy. So please hit the subscribe button so you can get notified of future videos and please if you if you may press the like button on this video because I have to be honest it's hard for us small YouTubers just starting out to uh, to compete with the big guys you know so here I'm not looking for sympathy I'm just looking for uh, a like and a a subscription so um yeah this is something that um you know i've been asked a few times by by people in our facebook group is is how to purchase a domain name on godaddy so anybody who is looking to sort of set up an e-commerce store or set up a, their own blog uh, looking at all of these things or even you know you've brick and mortar stores uh you know businesses uh shop fronts that wants to have a you know a domain name a website the first thing you have to look at is purchasing a domain name. So what do we cover in this tutorial? What is a domain name? Why you need a domain? The do's and don'ts when choosing a domain name. The difference domain extensions, how to purchase a domain and how to contact us if you need any help. So what is a, what is a domain name? So a domain name is a website's address on the internet. Okay, so this is what people will type into their browser to access your website. Every domain must have a unique name that distinguishes it from all others. The domain name must be registered before you can use it. So I think that's obvious. So basically, you know, it's it's a website's address on the internet. You know, so when you think about www.google.com, uh, www.nike.com, that is their address. That is their website address. So, but so that's what a basically a domain name is. So, why do you need a domain? If you want an online presence, you need a, a domain name. Now, I know there's a few people who will disagree with me on that. And a, a question I get asked often is, you know, I, I have a Facebook page, I have a, a Twitter page. I'm, you know, I have an online presence. Yes, that is true, but. You know, if you want to have a, you know, a long term, you know, presence online, I do recommend that you, first of all, get a domain because you don't have to use it straight away. Uh, but if you want to have, you know, a proper online presence, you will at some stage, I believe, have to have a website. You know, if you want to sell online, a lot of people say, oh, yeah, but I sell on Amazon and I sell on eBay. But yeah, but they're not your customers, you know, they're not. If you want to have a, a proper e-commerce business, then I would recommend that you open up your own store, which would mean you have your own domain name. So whether you're starting a blog or any sort of website, you know, there's so many different websites. There's informational websites, e-commerce websites, education websites. If you want to have your own site, then I do recommend you get a domain. Brick and mortar business, you know, an actual shop. Uh, like a business, a pub, a shop, a store. Um, I do recommend that they also go and buy a domain because, you know, if you have an established brand and you don't have a domain name, then somebody, somebody is going to buy the domain name for your business and try and sell you that, you, you know. So I recommend that even if you have no intentions of starting a website just yet, I do recommend that you go and buy the domain name for your business because somebody else will, I guarantee you that. Having a domain, having a website, um, you know, makes you look more professional. It puts you in control of your brand and it lets you build authority and identity. So, you know, we've talked about social media already, you know, having Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and they are important in building your brand. But having your own website, uh, regardless of whether you're selling or not, so I'll give you an example, like there's, you could have a, a free web uh, WordPress site, but somebody lands on that website, you know, they, straight away they know that it's a free website. It, it doesn't look professional in my view. You can also do free blogs, you know, again, especially if you're looking for people to, you know, to maybe click on an affiliate link and, and, and purchase something using your link uh, through your site, having you know, a dot com or dot co or dot ie or dot us looks a lot more professional than you know have seeing, you know, the web address of the of the site, the free site that you're using, whether it be WordPress or Tumblr or whatever. I, in my view, my in my experience, 
it looks a lot more professional. You have a blog or a website that has professional looking domain name. Okay, so that's, and then you were able to, it's, to me, it's, it's, it's a big part of your brand building, whether you're, you're, you're selling your own products or somebody else's products, or you're just looking to get, you know, information. I think it just looks a lot more professional. So the do's and don'ts of when choosing a domain name, and this is, you know, something I get asked an awful lot, you know, make sure your domain name is relevant to your business. Now, you know, I'm lucky, you know, that I was able to, I, my website is Clever Merchants. I, my, that's my brand name. I was able to use clevermerchants.com. But if that wasn't available, you know, what would I have used? You know, and I see a lot of people will have, you know, if it's a restaurant, they will have a, a domain name that looks completely different than than their brand name. I know it's something that you, I know, seems obvious, but I see an awful lot of people make that mistake. So make sure you use the right extension. So .com would be probably the most, you know, I think roughly half of all websites out there have .com, and it's mostly used .com for commerce, so e-commerce. Now that doesn't mean it has to be specifically an e-commerce store, but anything that I believe that has, you know, any sort of transaction, e-commerce transaction, whether it be, you know, purchasing through an affiliate link or you're looking to, you know, sell a digital product, um, e-commerce store, I would recommend going .com. Now, the, the, the bad side to that is an awful lot of the .com, you know, extension domain names are already taken. And... A lot of people make the mistake of jumping in and buying, you know, .net or .org or .info. Like .info is, you know, it's supposed to be for informational websites, but in my view, um, .info shouts spam. And if, if people see a, a website that has .info at the end of it, then they will probably think that it's a, a not a legitimate website because unfortunately. You know, a lot of the scam websites that were out there use .info and that has kind of given that extension a bad name. So I wouldn't use .info, but thankfully there is loads of different extensions available that I'm going to show you. You know, so you've .com, .co, you even have, you know, uh, extensions, for web, domain extensions for, you know, certain professions, um, .restaurant, um, .education, you know, and there's so many, and I know... I'm going to talk about these, so, you know, and then you also have, you know, per country, so if .com was taken, maybe, you know, you just want to do business in a certain country, so .us, you know, your states, .ie, Ireland, .uk, Britain, so I'm going to show you some examples, so don't worry if, if I'm talking here and you have no idea what, you know, the different extensions are, Um. so if just, yeah, if .com is not available, there, there is other choices, but you have to be careful of what you choose. Right, so this is, you know, debated an awful lot. Uh, you know, how long should my domain name be? And I'm not talking about the www or the extension here. I'm talking about, you know, what's in between, you know, uh, what, you know, mine is Clever Merchants, for instance. And funny enough, mine has 15 characters. And, and that's because um, that's my business name i couldn't shorten that you know but if possible keep it 14 or less which can be very hard to do but i would not make it you know i see domain names uh my great website or something like that it's way too long do not use hyphens as it looks unprofessional Um, it doesn't hurt your seo it just looks unprofessional in my view and in the view of other people who are who are involved in this business a lot lot of people when you know their save clever merchants.com was unavailable what they'll do is clever hyphen merchants.com oh yeah i'll go with that i just think that looks unprofessional so um we'll have a look now so that's that's before we have a look and go daddy i just want to show you some examples here so that's my domain name right so if i click on it i get the full thing and um, so first of all i'm going to show you the lock on the s and you know when you're 
that's very important because this shows that my website is secure that you know i'm if anybody you know enters in their email address that it, it, it can't be spammed by by another website that there's not somebody else looking that transaction that email address is, is between me and them especially if i'm doing an e-commerce store it's very important as well because if people are entering in their paypal address or their credit card details need to know that the uh, that the domain that the website is secure so you know my domain is www.clevermerchants.com now the clever merchants as i said earlier on is actually 15 characters so i've gone over what i suggest but i have no choice because that's that's my business name you know now i'm going to show you some other examples so you know dot com is the extension so that's dot com dot commerce if dot com wasn't available um, you know, my other things could have been not co for company. If I was looking to do business just in a particular country, .ie Ireland, .us for United States. So I'm just going to have a, before we go looking and go daddy, just some examples, you know, of, you know, if I think in my local area, um, oh yeah, Kamenham Jail, for instance. It's a big uh, tourist attraction here in Dublin. Um, now first things first the dot ie uh, you know that means Ireland so they said look we're an Irish uh, business we're an Irish website we're going to choose dot ie now they could have went with dot com right because uh, you are there is some commerce here You're, you you probably can yes you can book tickets online so there will be payments for that so that it, it is a kind of commerce site but they've gone with dot ie because they want to extinguish themselves as Irish now, Kamenum Gale Museum is fairly, fairly long. Um, I would have, if I was choosing this, I would have tried to have just gone with Kamenum Gale. But Kamenum Gale probably said, you know, we're an established brand. Um, probably the length of our website probably isn't going to matter. Now, one thing that I have noticed here is that it's not secure. Um, and that is very, very surprising. So... Whoever is doing their web hosting, and I have a video about web hosting, you can see it on my channel. Uh, whoever is doing their web hosting, they have not purchased an SSL certificate, which is makes the site secure. Um, so I would presume that they have lost some business because some people would be very, very reluctant to uh, book tickets online if they see that it's not secure. And so I am surprised at that, to be totally honest with you. Um, now... Another famous um, would be obviously would be the Guinness Storehouse. I think it's probably Dublin's biggest tourist attraction. Um, again, I've no connection with the Guinness Storehouse or Command and Jail. So if you if you book any tickets or tours here, I don't get any commissions. In case you're wondering, so they have gone with you know GuinnessStorehouse.com. Now, if we remember from the uh, command in jail they went they went with the, the .ie extension because they wanted to you know put you know extinguish themselves as uh, as as an irish website so even though guinness storehouse is based in ireland they went with .com and the reason i presume is that you can buy tickets so there is uh, some sort of commerce uh, you know going on with this site because a lot of people think the .com you know is e-commerce completely you know but it can be also you know, a company website that also lets you do some sort of commerce, whether it be booking tickets or, or booking um, uh, a business call or something like that. Now, I, they have gone with the hyphen. Uh, you know, again, I would not have, 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 have gone with that. Um, I think it's unprofessional. But here, the Guinness Storehouse is one of the... Uh, biggest tourist attraction in Ireland so I, I presume that they say look we are an established business name it doesn't really matter for us we're going to come up in Google search results anyway um, and if you notice here they have they have a secure site because you can see the padlock and you can see the S in the in the in the address that wasn't there with command in jail and, the, and as I said earlier on that was actually very surprising um, now so let's look at some maybe um, some restaurants here in Dublin. Restaurants in Dublin. Okay, the beacon.com. 
So what I presume that's happened here is um, the beacon or beacon. Beacon was probably taken, so they went with thebeacon.com. So it is okay to use the word the. Um, that is fine, and I'm glad this came up because that is something that I'm asked. Can I use the word there? Can I use store? And yes, you can. But to me, this is much better than using a hyphen. So thebeacon.com. They have um, it's under the 14 characters. Dot com. And um, because there is some sort of commerce going on here, you can book a table and book a room. So it's a uh, it's not just a restaurant; it's also um, a hotel, I presume. So. And yeah, they didn't go with dot ie, um, and that's interesting as well. Um, dot com, um, it would be a lot cheaper than using uh, a country extension like dot e and, and and dot com and stuff like that. So if you click on the GoDaddy link that's under this video, and you purchase using that link, um, that's my referral link. Now you get. 30% uh, off if you click my link uh, and if you purchase using my, my link I do get uh, a commission um, you don't get charged in an extra in fact you actually save some money using my link but look if you don't want to use my link that's fine you can go and, and type GoDaddy into Google and you don't have to go through my link whatsoever but uh, we're going to have a quick look so we're going through domains here and um, Paul restaurant say now I'm a terrible speller so I always kind of leave a gap for the start just to make sure that I have done it right and which I haven't I'm a terrible speller so now I'm going to put these two back together again so I have a restaurant here in Dublin say my name is Paul it's called Paul's restaurant and um, uh, it comes under the 14 characters in fact I think it's bang on 14 and I go with this <laughs> right, so paulsrestaurant.com is available, but it's available for 15,000, over 15,000 euros. So obviously I'm not going to purchase that. So somebody, and this is why I'm saying to you earlier on about even if you've no intention of having a website just yet, once you start building your brand, you need to go and buy your domain before somebody else does. And, and you know, a lot of people... Some people, this is all they do. They go rooting around the internet to see businesses that have no domain, buy the domain, and then try and sell it back to them. So they're willing to sell this for over €15,000, which in dollars probably would be near $16,000. But there is other um, other sort of uh, avenues that we can go down. We can go down .co, .co .uk if I was based in, in Britain, .eu, dot info again i wouldn't recommend that dot online yeah you know you could go that way as well so <clears throat> you could put an s pause restaurants dot com um, i wouldn't recommend that because then it looks as if you have more than one uh, i don't recommend putting full stops or hyphens and um, it's not an organization pause restaurant on live dot shop is there a dot restaurant so Paul's Restaurant dot, dot cafe, yeah, you 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 could. Paul dot Irish, yeah, because I'm based in based in Ireland, that could work. Paul's Restaurant dot pub, if it was a pub. Paul's Restaurant or catering, but I'm not a catering business, right? I'm a restaurant. Um, Paul's Restaurant dot restaurant, <laughs> um, and it's it's eighteen euro a year. So I'm just I'm just giving you an example that there there is other solutions here and um, so if i went you know say if you were having a blog um you know a uh, travel blog would definitely be already taken okay yeah so it's taken right so there's no even option to buy it uh, so you know what other sort of and what this is what i like about godaddy is that it gives you other options to the true travel blog is available for four ninety nine, right? Um, and the book travel, the travel blog pro dot info, shop travel blog, the travel blog dot Irish. If I was a you know an Irish travel blog, that that might work. Um, you know, 
I would have to have a little look and see his .ie may be available. Uh, travelmeblog.com. But here's what's also good, you know, is, that, is travel. So what you could do here, right, is travelblog.travel. Or you could say, you know, Jer's blog dot tra- travel. So that tells people that, oh yeah, Jer's blog is a travel blog. So Jer's blog dot travel. You know, so there's, there's different things that you can, you know, you can, you, you can look at. So just say, for instance, I did go with the true travel blog. I would add that to cart and then go continue to cart. So then there's a couple of other options that, you know, that they give you. So full domain privacy and protection. What does that mean? You know, so, so it protects your domain against accidental, uh, uh, you know, that it expires accidentally, uh, malicious transfer. Someone can, you know, go in and, and break, you know, go in, get your login details, go into your GoDaddy and transfer it over to themselves. Um, so, you know, ultimate domain protection. So what's the difference here? Um, so this is protects you against spam. If you have the money, I would recommend you going with one of these. Okay. Having the privacy and protection is good. But if you're on a, a shooting budget, if you have very little money, you can just go no tanks. Um, we don't want a website just yet. Now you can, an email address for your domain is very, very, very important. Right, so if you were looking to start something straight away, I do recommend this because even you know if you have a social media presence, having a you know a Gmail account or a Hotmail account to me looks very unprofessional. Like you could have, you know, your own domain in your email info at travelblog dot com, true travelblog dot com, sorry, or info at true travelblog dot com. You know, so it, it gives you, you know, more of a a pre- professional, you know sort of look but at the moment no tanks so continue to cart but, but if you are looking I do recommend it so for you know I can get this blog you know without any of the any extras for two years because of that link for thirteen forty eight, which would be a roughly nearly I don't know fifteen dollars for two years I can get that domain registered so, you know, you can do this for fairly cheap and, you know, and, and then, you know, if you're an established brand, you don't, you know, then you, you don't run the risk of somebody buying this and trying to sell it to you at a later stage. Um, on, on another website I wanted to show you or domains was the sort of education, you know, on a, um, you know, Harvard, Harvard University would be a, a major sort of university in the United States. And if you look here, they didn't go with dot us they went with an education is dot edu for education so maybe dot us was already taken so they went with the education uh, sorry dot us was already taken so they went with the education extension dot edu so i'm just trying to give this as a, a, an example that you know what a lot of people try and do is because dot com is already taken and they start adding hyphens and full stops into the domain name or they go with dot info or dot net or dot org like if you have an e-commerce website having dot org looks ridiculous having dot info looks ridiculous you know so if you've you know don't be afraid to, to contact me if you're if you're not sure of um of, of what to do in, in this regards so you can email me at info at clevermerchants.com if you are going down the road of you know getting hosting like going you want to have your own website then i do have a video about what web host hosting company to go with so you know thanks for watching and i'm 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 hoping that you uh, press the subscribe button and give the video a like so hope to talk to you soon thank you